Jeddah in Saudi Arabia is known for its incredible beauty. The city has many attractions, but by the end of 2020, Jeddah will have its own crown jewel, the Jeddah Tower, soon to become the tallest building in the world. Jeddah will become the largest economic center of the Red Sea. If you like heights and towering above the clouds, you're going to love the Jeddah Tower. But first, click the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. The tallest building in the world. Forget about the Burj Khalifa, there is a new kid in town and it looks like he will lord over the sky 72 meters higher than the Khalifa who is set to be dethroned. The Jeddah Tower, once completed, will set a record of many firsts. It won't just be the world's tallest building, it will also be the world's first one kilometer high skyscraper and the building with the second highest observation deck in the world. Jeddah will become the largest economic center of the Red Sea. Its exact height is not revealed as yet, but inside sources have said that the magnificent structure will be more than 252 stories high and cross one kilometers tall. That is a massive 3,280 feet or 1,000 meters. Once the Jeddah Tower is unveiled, it will dethrone Dubai's Burj Khalifa, presently regarded as the world's tallest building. The Jeddah Tower is higher than the Burj Khalifa by over 72 meters, a global landmark in the heart of Jeddah's economic zone. Jeddah in Mecca province of Saudi Arabia is a bustling business hub of 4 million people. Since the 40s, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has improved the city's infrastructure and the economy, expanding and diversifying industry. The city authorities have expanded its boundaries to include a new posh economic area called Jeddah Economic City. The new city will be a high-end commercial and residential project of 57 million square feet. It will include homes, hotels and offices, with the Jeddah Tower standing bang in the centre as a pinnacle of its glory. The Jeddah Tower and its surrounding area will be an economically new district in itself. Supporting the new district of Jeddah will be a phase two of the Economic Zone project. A third phase is also planned to complete the entire new Jeddah city, but that is still a secret yet to be revealed. Jeddah Tower's architecture. The Jeddah Tower was conceived by its developer in the Jeddah Economic Company, who confirmed that the skyscraper will be operational by the end of 2020. Initially, the tower was named the Kingdom Tower. It was then changed to the Mile High Tower. In the end, the developer settled for a name that reflects its aesthetics and class. It will be known simply as the Jeddah Tower. Construction of the foundation began in 2013. However, miscommunications, bureaucracy and logistics delayed the project and work came to a standstill. It was resumed earlier this year with the developers confident of inaugurating the building in 2020. CEO of Jeddah Economic Company Munib Hamoud declared that by the end of 2020, the tower and its many features like shopping malls and other projects will firmly be in place. It cost $1.4 billion. The Jeddah Tower is estimated to cost $1.4 billion, but it is assumed that the figure will exceed by a few million more once the project nears completion. The Jeddah Tower fits into the new vision of the Saudi government, eyeing to improve the country's economy and reduce dependence on oil. As Munib Hamoud puts it, the Jeddah Tower is Vision 2030, the architect chosen to design Jeddah Tower. The company chosen to construct the Jeddah Tower was AS and GG, owned by renowned architect Adrian Smith, the man behind the Burj Khalifa, the Trump International Hotel Tower in Chicago, the Zifeng in Nanjing, China, Jin Mao Tower in Shanghai. It wasn't a smooth sailing contract for Smith, however. Yeah, or boy, I wish I'd done it this way instead of that way. He had to compete in a design competition against prominent architectural firms, which included Cone Pedersen Fox, Picard Shilton, Foster and Partners, Pelly Clark Pelly, amongst others. A work of art. 
The design of the Jeddah Tower is a bold and brilliant high-tech architectural work of art. It was meant to be minimalistic, yet ooze a touch of class. The skyscraper is constructed over a floor area of 2.6 million square feet, 243,866 square meters and over 252 stories. Its ground floor was constructed at a height of 20 meters above the ground. The company won thanks to the rich experience of building similar objects. The entire structure weighs over 900,000 tons, almost double that of the Burj Khalifa that weighs just 500,000 tons. The Jeddah Tower is superior over the Burj Khalifa in almost every aspect of design, weight, mass and size. Design with advanced aerodynamics the Jeddah Tower was designed with advanced architectural aerodynamics featuring a sloped exterior design in comparison to the Burj Khalifa's stepped one. In doing so, the tower eliminates problems of vertical transportation limitations for high climbing elevators, building movements, impact by wind and columns settling, along with core size issues vital to tall buildings. The tower is equipped with 59 elevators, moving at a slower speed than found in other towers. This will reduce nausea, a common side effect while traveling in elevators of tall buildings. Elevators in the Jeddah Tower will reach a record height of 660 meters or 2,165 feet. double-decker lifts shuttling visitors to the observation deck from the ground floor can travel at 12.5 miles per hour, which means to travel from the ground to the 157th floor will take just 66.5 seconds. The top floor will be 668 meters above the ground. The layout of the tower. The Jeddah Tower will be home to luxury penthouse-style residential units, hotels and offices. It will have 97 service apartments that will include 7 duplexes, 7 floors of offices, 325 residential apartments, but the highlight of the tower will be the Four Seasons Hotel. The Four Seasons Hotel the primary occupant of the Jeddah Tower will be the Four Seasons Hotel with over 200 rooms packed with more luxurious amenities than you could think of. There will also be several restaurants serving the choicest cuisine from around the world, bound to be a hit amongst its international guests. Those staying at the tower are going to be mesmerized by the facilities and technology available. The Four Seasons is an international hotel chain with over 100 properties in over 100 countries. Based in Canada, it was founded in the 60s and grown now to be a brand worthy. It was founded in the 60s and has grown to be a brand worthily popular with the elite of society. Major shareholders in the Four Seasons are Al Walid bin Talal and Bill Gates. A hub of luxury and entertainment. Besides its facilities, for industry, hospitality and business, the Jeddah Tower will be a vertical entertainment hub and a center of attraction for Jeddah City. It will feature hundreds of arcade-style shops, lounges and restaurants. Its residential apartments are draped in luxury and amenities that will transform the tower into a self-sustaining vertical city. The developers hope that the Jeddah Tower will improve the economy of Jeddah and Saudi Arabia by attracting international tourists to see the world's tallest building. The Grand Observation Deck the Jeddah Tower Observatory Deck, made from steel, is the highest deck in the world, spread over a protruding platform of 500 square feet. It hangs aside the Grand Tower and lies 2,000 feet above the ground. Stepping into the Grand Jeddah Tower, a visit to the observation deck is not to be missed. The stunning deck commands a bird's eye view of the fantastic Red Sea located close to Jeddah City. Jeddah City lies on the coast of the Red Sea and is also the largest seaport in the country. 
the panoramic and spectacular view of the beautiful Jeddah landscape with the sea in the backdrop will be a lifetime experience. Sunbathing will also be allowed on the observation deck. Luxurious residential apartments laced with gold. If the Four Seasons Hotel will spoil clients for want of comfort and luxury, then the 500 relaxing apartments in the Jeddah Towers are just as amazing. After all, there is nothing more luxurious than living in the world's tallest building with your head in the clouds every day. Residential apartments in Jeddah Tower will be customized for their potential owners. It will also have four tier houses for those wanting more space. Every residential area features unique architecture and amenities that keep getting better and better as you go higher. In fact, the very epitome of luxury in the Jeddah Tower is proposed to be on tier four, with a level and quality of architectural design surpassing any residential residential apartment in its category. The large penthouse residences on Tier 4 are laced with gold, a common feature throughout. Topmost residential houses will also have their own private exit and entrance. Level 157 even has a sky terrace 98 feet in diameter, which comes as an exclusive amenity for use only by the occupant of the penthouse floor. It hopes to transform the entire country. Once the Jeddah Tower is complete, the country hopes it will transform the economic landscape of the city on the same lines as Dubai. The Jeddah Tower will undoubtedly become a hotbed of entertainment, retail and industry. Chief Development Officer of Jeddah Economic Company says that the new construction will be an entirely new city with residents about to get a boost in lifestyle. No one's complaining because the presence of the Jeddah Tower is changing the mindset of the people. How would you like to spend the night in one of the penthouses of the Jeddah Tower? It would be a sublime experience, wouldn't it? If you were truly blown away by the luxury of the Jeddah Tower, then subscribe to this channel for more engaging videos.